Patch 11.18. Afido's base damage decreased. Good. Fucking nerf that shit. W cooldown increased early. Good. Fucking stop pushing me in. Passive cooldown increased early. Good. Stop fucking one-shotting me, level one. R now executes baits on adoration stacks. Draven's adoration stack count updates will be straight in all chat, not just team chat. If running death drops enemies' health to or below Draven's current adoration stacks, it executes them. That's kind of nice. I like that buff. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, R grants bonus HP on cast instead of healing for missing health. Healing over time decrease late, so you get more of a boom rather than a... You get me? Cool. Passive damage reduction increased against basic attacks. This is passive, yeah. W base damage increased, R damage reduced. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, will Fizz be meta though? No, it won't. Fizz will not be meta. Fizz will not be meta. I don't think this does much. The W buff is kind of nice though. Like the W buff is pretty massive. Like the on hit damage, 10, 10 on hit damage level one is fucking nuts if you're playing Ignite Fizz with TP. Actually, wait, you could play Fizz top lane with this, can't you? Can't you play Fizz top lane with that much on hit damage? Dude, what the fuck? This could be a tank Fizz angle because your R damage is decreased, but your W damage on hits increased. And you could go like a Wits End or something with tank. Maybe it's maybe it's good. Uh, cool, yeah, just QOL stats for Gangplank. Uh, base stats are always good. I think he got really nerfed on his level 1 on 11.17 because of the barrel changes and... Um, not the barrel changes, just Q changes, of course. Passive duration decreased. Ah, it's when he swaps form or what? Q mana reduced for fish bones. Okay, so when she, it just helps her wave clear, I guess, early. I think the mana only really comes into account early. Because late game, I think you play Presence of Mind Jinx, don't you? You get one reset, you're full mana again. E cooldown reduced late. This does nothing. Kai'Sa's biggest problem right now on the patch is her Q cooldown's too long. And um, she can't fast push wave. So she gets pushed in and gets out traded because she's short range as well. The only good thing about Kai'Sa is Halo Blade's Q. But Halo Blade's got nerfed. Uh, her Q got nerfed. I think this doesn't do anything. Base armor increased. E base shield increased. Cool. So Karma buffs. Base armor buffs. Just helps her lane, I guess. Uh, and then her base shield is increased. Cool. Yeah, Karma's pretty oppressive champ. If you blind prick things like Brown, uh, you can pick. Karma's really good into champs that don't run Aftershock. That's the TLDR. Give or take some some things. Um, basically, you know, like Alistar, Leona. Like Alistar is obviously bad into Karma, level 1 to 4. But uh, yeah, anything with kill pressure is pretty hard for Karma. So like Brown is manageable pretty easily. Um, but yeah, that's the only time. I mean, that's why you saw Fnatic versus G2, Blind Pick Brown. Uh, the, I think Illusion Pick Lulu, right? Yeah, range supports tend to be good into non uh, non Aftershock champs. Cool. EAP scaling increased. Okay, that's mid lane Kogma. How much increase? 720%. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's probably going to change the way he clears waves. Because what old AP Kogma used to do is you ER the wave. Fucking dead. Uh, but now I think you need to ERR the wave to kill it, so it's a lot of mana. So uh, maybe this makes it so the wave clear is better. I don't know, have to check, but uh, I don't know the exact numbers when it comes to damage, but probably helps. Base stack damage. Dude, why are they nerfing Lee Sin every patch? Dude, I was having so much fun with Lee Sin. Fuckers, man. Base AD is just gonna hurt, obviously, early clear, right? Early clear is slower. Kind of fucking annoying. And his early fight and power is a bit weaker. Won't be noticeable late game, mid late game, but yeah, early game is a bit nerfed. But yeah, they're nerfing me. Nerfing me because they saw my lease in yesterday. Absolutely crack as cocainous. Health regen increase, passive healing on large monsters increase, Q and E cooldowns decrease. Wow, they really want to bring Lilia back, don't they? So base health regen is decreased, but the health growth is also decreased. Wait, what? Why did it say increased? Health regen increased? Wait, what? Am I tripping here? Health regen increased. Base health regen decreased. Health regen growth decreased. What? Health regen increased. Passive healing on monsters increased. Dude, what do you mean? Read down. Yeah, healing against large monsters. Dude, what? Passive healing on large monsters increased. Yeah, Q, her passives increased on healing on large monsters. Yeah, probably a typo. Yeah, health regen decreased is what they're trying to say, right? Q and E, Q and e cooldowns decreased. Huh? Dude, what is going on here? Q and E cooldowns decreased. So it's saying the Q cooldown is decreased, but all it's telling me is the passive lasts longer. Huh? 
What are you saying? Q and E cooldowns decrease. Yes, E cooldown is decreased, but Q is just passive stack increased, right? I think the wording on this is terrible. Am I just me or what? First, you're telling me the health regen's increased when it's decreased, and then you're telling me the Q cooldown's decreased when it's the passive stack duration that's increased. <laughs> Jesus, man. Riot, can you just read your own fucking patch notes, man? Number of R waves increased. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? Huh? Total waves, numbers went up, R waves increased. Huh? Cool, yeah. Lilia, dude, I don't know what's going on there. Or as uh, you see, what do I think? Lilia's probably still fucking useless. This champ, yeah, the kit of this champ is just not strong enough. The, the idea of this kit of Lilia is full clearing, um, outpacing enemy jungler and being there first. Skirmishes, not so great. Team fights, obviously flash QR is the only combo you have. Lilia's a weird spot right now. She's like half solo lane, half jungler now. E cooldown decreased. Cool. Helps her lane a little bit. Base attack speed increased. Cool. Health regen decreased. Cool. Q damage to monsters increased. EQ combo targeting changed. E base damage decreased. So they're trying to bring back Kiana jungle. If Kiana target begins to dash or teleport during an EQ buffer, Q will aim at their last position before they dash and teleport. Kiana's target in a begins to dash. So your Q doesn't hit no matter what. You can dodge the Q. You can dodge the EQ combo, right? That's what I'm reading here. You can dodge Kiana's EQ combo. That's a fucking horror. If Kiana has EQ buffered, but does not have vision on the target when the cast completes, Q will aim at the last position so you can see your target in. Dude, that's really cringe, man. Like, the only reason Kiana is even, like, playable is because you can always hit your EQ. That's unhealthy. Anyway, her clear is better in jungle. More attack speed, more damage to monsters, and her E damage has gone down a little bit. Okay, so Kiana again, weird spot. Um, I need to test how this affects because I can't just simulate 25% damage to monsters. But obviously her clear is better. What patch is Worlds on actually? 11.18 or is it 11.19? Renekton Empower W stun decreased. Empower W lockout now matches normal W. Okay, Renekton's dead. I can tell you for a fact Renekton is dead. Okay, there it is. I told it. I said it right there. Renekton is shit. This nerf has now killed Renekton. Champ's dead. Champ's dead. The only reason Renekton was good was because of his Fury W. Renekton's dead. 100% Renekton's dead. With the Q nerf on creeps and now um, Empowered Sun Duration gone. Empowered Self Lock Duration on matches normal W. Okay, so it's faster and you don't stand still as long on the W. But uh, yeah, one second stun is absolutely useless. What does the second Renekton line mean? Basically what happens, Self Lockout Duration, I think, is when... Uh, when you W empowered on Renekton, he has, he stands still and you can't move, so he's doing this. But they just made it so it's faster. So you can move after half a second. Uh, passive bonus attack speed decreased early, now scales of level. W cooldown decreased and no longer scales. Dude, what? They're trying to make him stronger. I mean, uh, the, the, the W bu uh, buff. Wait, they, re they wait, they just changed this on 11.15, didn't they? They just reverted it? They just reverted it or what? Pulled on increase to se yeah, 11, 13, 7 to from 6 at all ranks. 6 from 7 at all ranks. Dude, they fucking reverted the 11, 13 change. Why? Well, at least it's clear is better. At least it's clear is better. Huh? His clear is good. He has less attack speed level 1, but his clear is actually like human now. He can play. What was the other changes to Rumble? I will now cast immediately. Cool, that was a bug fix, bug fix, bug fix. Okay, we could see a small return of ju Rumble Jungle. I mean, what you did with Rumble Jungle was you W max, of course. Uh, well, not W max, you start W. Um, anyway. Damage dealt during R and R, please. Grievous wounds. Wow, that's a cool change. Interesting. I have no clue what that's going to do. I mean, I guess it helps top matchups. I guess if you're against, like, yeah, Renekton, Aatrox, uh, Divine Sunder, Nars, something like this. It helps a little bit. Yeah, sure. Do I think it's going to make Singe meta? No. Singed, singed as a champion is naturally good into AP top laners. AP top laners. That's what Singe is good into. As far as I'm aware. Unless, yeah, AP top laners is kind of what Singe counters. Uh, ranged AD champs. Fuck Singed up a bit. Cool. R now clears Grievous wounds before healing. <laughs> what the fuck? How did they come up with that? Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. I wonder what it does to Ignite. It clears Grievous Wounds before healing. So what does it do? If I if I have Ignite on him, 
and yields, does it still take the damage or is it happens to my ignite? They're doing a lot of interesting things on this patch. They're trying to be different, like trying to find some different ways around the champion. Probably still takes damage, but no grievous. Yeah, probably. Cool. That's cool. Casting Q on worked ground now refunds its cooldown. Work ground duration uh, ratios and what? Casting Q on work down what? No, it runs 50% of the spell's cooldown. Dude, why do they... Huh? Why do they write it like this? Why do they write it like that? It sounds like it's ref ref refunding the whole fucking cooldown. 50% of the cooldown. Work around... It's actually smaller as well, the radius. And it lasts shorter. Oh my god, that's so nice. That is so nice. This is really nice buffs for Talia. This is really nice buffs for, for mid lane Talia as well, yeah. Mid lane Talia, jungle Talia. It helps a lot when you're kiting camps. Talia jungle might be a bit more useful now, especially because you can actually finally kite your camps without having to sit there and fucking... Okay, Q-based damage decreased late. W now deals bonus damage versus monsters. How many times have they buffed Talon for jungle? I swear this is the third time I'm reading Talon getting buffs for, for monsters. Can you please fuck off? Talon jungle is not a healthy champ. It's not... It's Smite Ignite Talon running around one-shotting people. Like, this is not a healthy champ to have in the jungle. Please stop it. It's like Kane 2.0. Cool, base damage is decreased, but now he does more damage to monsters. Great. Thresh base move speed. This is a huge patch. What the fuck? Base thresh move speed decreased. Basic move speed decreased. The passive damage decreased early. Cool. Bonus damage per soul increased. Cool. I guess that's just more scaling, I presume. More scaling, less damage early. Yeah. E slow decreased. Nice, good nerf. The champ's too broken. Our bonus damage increased. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't play much Twitch, but AP Twitch was a thing because of the W or the passive something. Then it got nerfed. And now I guess you still go AD Twitch now. You still go AD Twitch, but you're going like on hit AD Twitch or Blade of the Rune King. Wit ends. Yeah. Wow, Titanic Hydras. People are trying to figure out what the fuck's going on with this champ, huh? Interesting. Cool. Nice buff. Twitch is only really good. As far as I'm aware, it's good into Estrial lanes and Kai'Sa lanes. And Vayne lanes probably as well. But yeah, any any laner that's weak. Weak lanes is always where you pick Twitch. You never pick him into like, you know, Ash, Varus, Aphelios. Kind of fucking hard to play. Kalista. Yeah. Q cooldown and mana cost reduced. Nice. QOL buff. I think Urgot is a little bit hit in OP. I think with the GP nerfs slash changes, now the Renekton nerfs coming in, when you have a meta around Nar, Camille, um, Jace, I think Urgot has a place somewhere. Uh, I don't quite know where, but I think there is a world where, yeah, Urgot's being played a lot at Worlds for a decent amount. I think this champ's a little bit underrated. What's its win rate in solo queue, actually? Probably around 52, isn't it? This champ's not bad. 54, wow. 58 in diamond. No one's playing in the jungle. Yeah, I think Urgot's a little bit hidden OP. I think teams should start screaming with Urgot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this champ gets picked at Worlds. A little bit. A little bit. It's a pretty healthy champ. Virus base AD decreased. Passive bonus AS decreased early, but increased with levels. So they're trying to buff... Uh, on hit virus again. They want to get rid of poke virus or what? They want to get rid of poke virus because they're giving him because virus is a scaling champ. On hit virus is a really good scaling champ. Um, because you put five points in W. So you're getting more attack speed on. Oh, a non-champion kills. Mm. Helps with this push, I guess. But wait. It goes back to... Wait, what am I saying? It just goes back to exactly where it was before. It's just a nerf to lane virus. This is all it does. Same amount. Dude, I don't know why I just read the way Riot puts it. It just sounds like it's increasing with levels, you know? So it's like a buff to scaling. But no, it's just the same fucking thing. Just half at level 1. Okay, it's just, yeah, just trying to nerf lane virus. Not trying to do anything to on-hit or, or, or poke virus. Just nerfing lane virus. W shielding per champion hit after the first increase. Shielding per champion hit at first. Okay, cool. Helps team fights. 
You me, dude. Passive cooldown decreased. Okay. Mm, great. Just helps her lane a tiny bit. Tiny bit. We encourage, we're encouraging her to play more aggressively early so that she can be more influential in lane. Riot games do not know their own game. Mate, Yumi players, mate, they're watching fucking Vampire Diaries or something while they're sitting on top of me. Or they're watching some fucking TV show on Netflix while they're sitting on top of me, dude. You think they want to play more aggressively, dude? They just ordered food and they're drinking their coffee while I'm fucking I'm 1v2, man. Absolute cringe lane phase. Or he's watching, I don't know, Supernatural or something. Dude, it's a waste to buff aggressive plays for Yumi. Just give it a bit more healing. Anyway. Z passive deals bonus damage to monsters. H how many times are they going to buff Z jungle? Honestly, this is going to be really broken. 100% bonus damage to monsters? Dude, what? I think Z jungle is legit good. We saw a little bit of Z jungle already. A little bit of Z jungle. Pride Stalker was playing it and he was having a lot of success on it. 18 minute win against Giants, Z jungle. Z jungle, 8, 1, 11. Z jungle, 3, 1, 4. Yeah, I think, how many times did they buff Z jungle? Uh, cool. It's buffed again. They kept buffing his fucking uh, monster damage grade. E cooldown decreased. Okay, yeah. Helps lane phase. Helps poking around Drake. Fantastic. No longer, no longer activates on turrets. Okay, cool. Yeah, same thing. Umbro Glaive is buffed. No. Slightly nerfed. Why do they do that? Yeah, sure. 10 lethality sounds great. I'd love to have 10 lethality. Uh, yeah, I can see what they're doing. Sure, they're trying to encourage Pike, Senna, but these champs are unplayable. Senna is completely useless if the enemy team has a Leona, Alistar, Rakan, Nautilus. Uh, dude, anything that begins with after and ends in shock and ends in engage. Senna is useless right now because it doesn't have enough lane oppression to punish it. And Pike's only really good... Um... What was it that Pike countered? I can't remember. It, I mean, it's good into Braum, of course, if you can get through the first couple levels of lane and you can just roam around. Um, but Rakan, Rakan, how did Pike Rakan go? One of them hard counters the other, but I don't remember which one it was. The, either Rakan hard counters Pike or Pike hard counters Rakan. I can't remember which way it was. I think it was Rakan hard counters Pike. I remember talking to this with Tore for a while because I was doing our drafts and uh, I had one draft where we were blind picking um, or they were blind picking Pike or something and he was like dude we just go Rakan and the game is won it's absolutely free matchup and I was like oh okay cool, cool. no Rakan counters Pike increasing priorities ganking power to push it into provide ability for junglers you gotta go fast like four more uses dude do they not realize why there's no fucking fast junglers anymore it's because chem tank is the most dog shit item in the game this is only going to help Gragas. I can't believe they wrote Skarner, Hecarim, Lilia. This is only going to help Gragas. Hecarim uses Conqueror. Skarner uses Phase Rush. And so does Lilia. Mate, did you play your own game? It's only Gragas that uses Predator. Are you crazy? Or Galio. Galio mid. The only reason Hecarim, Udyr, and Skarner aren't meta is because Chemtank is fucking useless and Lilia got gutted. Mate, what? Dude. Do they, they have any idea? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Cool. So one second ramp time. That's easier. Makes it faster. And maximum move speed increased. Cool. Well, this is just going to help mid laners. I don't know what they're fucking smoking when they say they want to help out the junglers that fell out of meta at early spring. Mate, this is just going to help mid laners and Gregas. Olaf buff? No, Olaf needs Conquer as well. Unless you have really good scaling on your team. But Olaf scaling is good, so you need Conquer. Cool. That was the, um, that was the, uh, the patch rundown. Hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls.